Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Studio Series 86 Ironhide figure. Just to remind, it is only the transformation process and the review is separately uploaded. Also, I do think mine's got a couple of little issues. So if yours is the same, hopefully I can reassure you and show you how we can still make do with it. So what we'll start off with is if we just take the front and just fold this out carefully, because what you've got is this will cascade out. And then at the same time, you can fold out these two parts of side windows just like so then you can fold the head in tuck that away and we're just going to leave this like that for now we're then going to attach the front bumper and leave that down then we're going to take the arms and we're going to bring these right back so what we're looking to do is bring this you'll see it'll roll around and then it'll detach at the shoulder as well and then you can collapse that back inside and rest this under there. This is where I think my problem is. I think this might be a bit too tight. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So disconnect it at the shoulder, turn this around and lie this as flush as you can. You can see you've got a tab there, which is gonna fit in. Turn the fists to face down and then just press them down a little bit. And as I said, I'm pretty sure where this is my problem is because this just doesn't stay fully flush, but let's continue anyway. So we've separated that. Then we're going to separate the front and then what we're going to do we're going to spin this all the way around bring the tires over 180 degrees and as you can see this is now where the engineering gets really really clever no kibble no feet hanging out the back this is genius to be honest let's fold the skirt up and funnily enough let's just fold these fists down at the elbows that way right here comes some of the clever parts so let's fold up these little tabs here which to be honest you hardly even notice then we're going to take what we know is the foot bring it all the way up fold out the back fold out the window and line this up on top like so and then if you want to we can just bring this out of the way like so just to clip this back part in over that tab repeat the same process on this side to so fold up this extra part of plastic slide this up out you'll see the windows under there bring it up and over and just again sit it on top this again if you want to you can fold out of the way and then we can just clip these in now it's a case of clipping the back parts together via them tabs all you can see there and then what we're going to do we're going to bend at the knees like so up like that and then we're going to fold this to meet in the middle so you can see where the fists there are all going to line up and click into place now we can take this part here fold this out and we're going to aim this tab to go into there which it should do yep nice and easy like so and this should clip over there you can see it go in but for mine it just pops out i don't know why i don't know if i'm doing anything wrong if i am please let me know as well or if you're experiencing this let me know bring this into there click that tab in and then these should tab together but as you can see mine aren't at all so i I don't know what it is i've tried but you can still get away with this so what we're going to do because even if they were touching there it's incredibly hard to get this part in anyway you've literally got to pretty much wrestle these in so i just clipped the front in by accident i'm just going to get this in it is just a case of can you bring this because if you have a look what i'm trying to show you see these are hooks going down they've got to get over there so you've got to as i say for me these just keep popping off if anybody else is having this problem please let me know as well in the meantime i'm going to fold that down bring this up and try my absolute hardest i've got it done once before um and as i say i just thought it was perhaps my figure but i still wanted to do the video so you can see because if you're experiencing the same problems um then it's not just you maybe it's a common thing there we go see how i've just sort of crunched that in on that side and the same on this side there we go it holds it in enough and then you can clip the bumper up i've just disconnected that with the force i was using but in other words there is the alternate mode okay so let's take him back to robot mode if you've got these attached just disconnect them and now it's just a case of simply disconnecting everything again so i'm going to start with the front like so i'm then going to separate these out i'm going to disconnect this tab in the side i'm going to fold this up just so it's out of the way and same on this side folding it out leaving it like there separate what we know of course is the forearms and now i'm going to separate which we know of course are the legs so this is the ingenious part let's lift the foot up fold the window down bring it under fold the foot back over and slot into position close that down same on this side lift the back off 
fold the window down, fold the foot down, slot this all the way down and close that down. Now fold this back up slightly out of the way and fold it over itself to cover the back of the wheel. You don't necessarily have to fold it back over itself. You can just bring it down and then fold it over like that. Bring the skirt down, separate the arms and the fists, bring them over, separate the front. And then of course, make sure this is lifted high enough so that you can separate and spin the wheels around. Obviously you need the bumper at the back now. Fold the two little tabs over and in, bring the head out, fold this down and click that into position. Click the center piece, the chest in, bring the arms down, extend, open up the fists, turn the orientation around. Same on this side, down, round, orientation around. And then finally fold the back bit up and make sure everything has lined up neatly and correctly. There we go.